Hey, girls, ready to go intertubing? Yep. Well, I'm just waiting on a call. We're ready to go in just a minute. Uh, you guys got sunscreen on? Yep. So you know 15, put 15 on twice. It makes 30. Seriously? Hold on, so just ready to go. water. Yeah, you guys ready to go? All right, I'll see you shortly. Step in there, all right? Sounds fast. Well, we'll see. Watch your step. Yes, it will. Oh, my goodness. Yes, we are. Come on down. Did you guys, uh, everybody's filled out waivers and yeah. everybody's good to go? We did. Come on, miss. Thank you. Here's the Motley crew. And JT. What's up, yo? What's up? <laughs> you see that lighthouse? Do you like JT? JT, he changing the subject, man. TJ. Oh, TJ, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> if, if your name wasn't so long, I'd be able to keep up with it better. <laughs> it's hard for me to keep up with it, man. I don't even know you guys. Misty, Heather, oh, Caitlin. Why are you so weird? This is the fun part right here. Look at those sunglasses. Uh, yeah. Is it really bright out here? Yeah. yeah. You guys can weld with those glasses on. We do kite boarding. We do. The main thing we do is a lot of paddle boarding. Paddle boarding is the fastest growing water sport in the world. We have a full line of uh, stand up paddle boards. And over here, is some of our customers over here by the seawall. Cool. Yeah, we saw them leaving when we were at the uh, bo uh, boat yard, actually. Yeah, the thing we do, we're the only waterfront paddle board shop in Sarasota. So we can rent boards right from behind our shop we, and just paddle from there. Or we have free delivery. Anywhere on Siesta Key will deliver boards to you. Cool. Uh, those boards right there are called YOLO Yaks. They're made out of a tri-mold plastic. They're super, super stable. And then we have the uh, pox, full epoxy boards, which is what you see usually when you're, you see paddle boards anywhere. They're really, really light. They're about 25 pounds. You can put them under your arm and carry them around. And, uh, we run a lot of paddle boards down here, and it, it is really, really a lot of fun. The thing about it is, as, a, you know, as opposed to kayaking, is you're standing up. So you can see down the water. You can sneak up on fish. Out here in this area right here, we've been seeing a lot of dolphins, and manatees will come up too. And the cool thing about a manatee is they'll come right up to you. And, and sometimes you won't even know they're there. A manatee can hold his breath for like 15 or 20 minutes. So you could paddle right over one and not know it. But even a big one, even a baby one, is really, really big. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's pretty intimidating when you see this big, giant thing come up next to your paddle board. Yeah, I can imagine. You kind of got to do a double tank. You know, you're like, <laughs> yeah. what is Make that sure, thing? exactly. If they had teeth, I wouldn't be in the water with them. I'll put it that way. No doubt. I saw one in Destin recently. I mean, in Venice recently. It was huge. In Destin? There was a, Ve Ve Venice, sorry. Oh, Venice, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was out with a guy named Tom from Gulf Breeze Art and Framing, and he had uh, one came up to us. We made a video out of it. It's really good. The reason why we're going so slow out here is because there's a lot of manatees, and we don't want to disturb them. Right now, so don't accidentally flip off, and then you're gonna move to the side when she gets on with you. Oh, you are definitely gonna fall. This is gonna be great. Yeah, it is. Come on, Caitlin, get her. On. This uh, one almost falls just walking to the car. Go ahead. Yeah, it's right there. She's been drinking again. <laughs> yeah, she's a problem. Oh. Yeah, we fine. <laughs> they still lift their feet off the back. <laughs> I think I just want to jump. Back in the hey, lay right down, head down on there. What? Lay down, feet out, and lay on your belly. <laughs> Afraid to get wet? Scooch right, over this way. Alright, girl, you hop on. Let me know if you feel something nibbling at your toes. Okay. <laughs> let me let me know if you feel something nibbling at your toes. I think for real. I don't want you to cross arm, maybe. You grab hold of this when you grab hold of that. Let me have a pause. Oh, she's like, oh, come up, scoot up a little bit. Scoot up a little bit. I've never had no. Oh. <laughs> you guys are too anxious.
she can't talk and get Hello, up at the same time. What's up, man? The girls can do it. I can. Okay. And I'm blonde. <laughs> You're blonde, kid. How about you, Missy? Did you have fun? Oh my gosh, I had so much fun. And I really stayed on way longer than what I thought it was going to, so yeah. it turned out great. I was making out a, a point that everybody did good as long as she wasn't on there with you. <laughs> I don't know. As soon as CJ got on, you were, were fine. Pretty good. Huh? I thought me and her were pretty good. It was a lot of teamwork going on there. Did you see us like trying to help each other out? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> you helping me? I never It was like, you. You, ever, you ever watched the old Keystone Cops? I have. That's what it looked like. Yeah, oh, awesome. And we did a good job. People don't realize how much stuff there is to do down here in Siesta Key. You've got the uh, Ringling Museum, you've got Moat Aquarium, you've got Botanical Gardens. The Ritz Carlton down here is rated the number one Ritz in the nation, and it's absolutely beautiful. Of course, and we have the number one beach in the nation. And people have people don't really realize, you know, if you're in Siesta Key and you can't find something to do, maybe you've been sitting behind a computer too long. But this is like a mecca of stuff to do down here. And there's other beaches around the nation and all that, but Siesta Key really has a lot of activities. We got, when you got inner two feet, water skiing, paddle boarding, kite boarding, offshore fishing, inshore fishing, moat aquarium, Ringling Museum, and I don't know, if, a lot of people don't know this, but Ringling College of Art and Design is one of the number one art design, or design colleges in the nation. Mm -hmm. and if you've graduated from Ringling College, you've got some credibility, and the students there work very, very hard to get their degrees. The girl that opened our Siesta Key uh, drum circle video the other day is going to that particular college you're talking about. She is unbelievable. Oh, the girl, uh, our daughter, uh, Holly, graduated with a degree in interior design, highest honors, and she's already got a job here in Sarasota, and she's unbelievable. I mean, you not only are you artistically talented, but you got to have some computer skills. Mm -hmm. And the, the Ringling College of Art and Design, USA Today, did a survey that it is the most wired university in the nation. That, in, this, the ratio to students to computers is 2.1, 2.7 computers per student. Mm -hmm. So you think about that. It's pretty amazing, yeah. It's pretty amazing. Well, that's what we're here for is to show the things to do while you're in Siesta Key in Sarasota. And somebody, I was talking to somebody in Destin, where I live, the other day, and they were asking how long I'm going to be in Siesta Key. And I'm like, it's unbelievable when you consider all the things to do in Sarasota. I'm going to be here a while. It's, you can't cover Sarasota without putting some time in because this is literally, it's just literally so many things to do here. Yeah, I mean, the thing about it is, is that's just scratching the surface. I mean, mm -hmm. you can find creative ways to have fun anywhere, but Sarasota has just a neck of spot, and you don't have to drive very far. Some people call it the 15-minute town. You can get anywhere in Sarasota in 15 minutes, depending mm -hmm. on the tourist traffic. I will say, if you're here on, on spring break, there's a lot of people here, but they're all here to have fun. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, Paris, like the bridge uh, going on to the key during spring break, if, you go, if, you're, if you're leaving at 9 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday to go to the, to the Siesta Key, going to be on the bridge for a while. That's how many people come down here. Mm -hmm. It's just it's amazing. Well, I see why they come now because it's an incredible town. It's beautiful. I'm excited to be here. I'm moving in. I'm here. I live here. You guys come visit me if you want. There you go. You would come visit Dave. Come visit What's your address, Dave? Because everybody can just come hang out with you at your house. <laughs> oh, technical difficulties. All right, I'm Rick. Call me and I'll hook you up with Dave's house. That's all right. Rick, Rick, don't worry. Rick, we'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> all right, man. All right, buddy. So we got a, a big kiteboarding community down here. Anytime the wind's blowing, a lot of kiteboarders, especially up at Skyway Bridge, which is uh, going toward Tampa. If you guys want to, we can go out and get uh, TJ to put a trainer kite, kite up. I don't think the wind may be blowing in the right direction to put an actual kiteboard and a board on his feet, but we could go out to the beach if you wanted to and you know, try some kiteboarding. Okay, if you. you want to, it's fine with us. Check it out. When we get back to the dock, we'll uh, look at the wind and see what it looks like. Okay.